What's going on guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Joey. Today I'm just going to run through my Blu-ray collection of the non-horror movies. And I'm going to try to make it quick, not really explain too many movies. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through the titles, but let's dive into it. So up top, we got some of my NECA figures. I'm going to jump into it, starting with sci-fi films. We got District 9, Fifth Element on Steelbook. Heavy Metal, The Matrix, the first one, it's the only one I really enjoy, we got Robocop Trilogy, Starship Troopers, one of my favorite movies of all time, so good, used to watch it all the time as a kid, Terminator 6 Film Collection, Total Recall 4K, Turbo Kid, which I was going to put with the horror movies, but you know, it's more sci-fi, I think, bloody good time, absolutely love this one. And Upgrade, another great film. We got The World of Wong Kar Wai, still sealed. I know I haven't opened it. What the hell is wrong with me, right? Memories of Murder. Blood Simple by the Coen Brothers. Thief, an amazing underlooked movie. Highly recommend checking it out. We got Night of the Living Dead, Criterion, which, you know, these Criterion horror films I put in the horror collection video so if you haven't watched that yet go check that out so i'll kind of show you these video drone then we got the lynch collection here we got eraser head elephant man blue velvet wild at heart well, of course it's backwards mulholland drive twin peaks fire walk with me twin peaks complete television collection and we got the Tarantino section here. We got Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, Glorious Bastards on 4K, Django Unchained, Hateful Eight, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Moving down to the next shelf, we got the drama and thrillers here. The Art of Self Defense is a very dark comedy. I found it absolutely hilarious with some great violence a really good kind of surprise twist ending highly recommend checking this one out apocalypse now which it comes with apocalypse now redux jeremy saunier's blue ruin amazing revenge movie check this one out go buy it love it brawl and cell block 99 a really good gory violent film clockwork orange on 4k whoops crossroads Highly underrated guitar movie with Steve Vai towards the end, kind of playing the devil. Death Wish, remake. Drive. Fargo. Full Metal Jacket, my favorite war movie of all time. Another backwards one, Gone Girl, amazing. Green Room by Jeremy Saunier, who did Blue Ruin. Not really a fun movie, but a very intense film. The Guest, Hannibal Lecter collection, so it's got Manhunter, Silence of the Lambs, and Hannibal, Hell or High Water, A History of Violence, a Netflix film that I got from StinkyTuna.com when they were up and running. I can't seem to get on there and order any more movies at the moment, but I don't feel at home in this world anymore. This is a debut from Macon Blair. He was the main actor in Blue Ruin here. But this is a highly underrated movie. If you guys are into dark comedy, uh, kind of spurts of violence, Tarantino-esque, check this one out. It's on Netflix. You will not be disappointed. Joker on 4K. John Wick Trilogy. Kick-Ass. Kingsman 2 Movie Collection. The new Kingsman film, The King's Man, is on Hulu. I just watched it. I found it pretty enjoyable. Not as good as these two. Lost in the Sun, I found it pretty intriguing, a uh, good story, really got involved in it, really underrated in my book. Mad Max Fury Road, Mortal Kombat on 4K, Nightcrawler, amazing movie, anything with Jake Gyllenhaal I fucking love. Another Netflix film, The Night Comes For Us, if you guys are interested, check this out on Netflix. It is probably one of the goriest films I've ever seen, if you like the Raid movies, which are coming up. Check this one out. You will not be disappointed. 
Nobody. Nocturnal Animals. No Country for Old Men, my favorite Coen Brothers film. Only God Forgives. Pig. Place Beyond the Pines, amazing movie. Point Break. Prisoners. Got The Raid Redemption, so the first one. And The Raid 2. These movies are so kick-ass. The Revenant. The Road. Very depressing movie, but well worth the watch. The Rover. Another great one that nobody talks about. Uh, again, the ending kind of hit me in the gut. Suicide Squad on 4K. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Amazing. Uncut Gems. I would like to upgrade this to the Criterion. We need to talk about Kevin. Probably one of the best films I've seen in the last 10 years. It really changed my life. Here we got You Were Never Really Here. Another great film that um, I, I guess people talked about it when it came out. But it is directed by Lynn Ramsey, who did We Need to Talk About Kevin. And Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead did the soundtrack to this. And We Need to Talk About Kevin. Moving down, we got the kind of kids animated films. Well, some of them are animated. Let's see, we got Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, childhood favorite. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The Complete Series. This is the classic series. We got the Scooby-Doo movies, so Scooby-Doo 1 and 2. Another childhood favorite of mine, Small Soldiers. Monster House. Nightmare Before Christmas. Coraline. The Iron Giant, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Soul, Ratatouille, another childhood favorite, a goofy movie, never get tired of watching that one, and we got Spongebob 2 movie collection, haven't seen the new one, not really interested, but I do love the first one, and Spongebob, first hundred episodes, Hey Arnold, the Ultimate Collection. So it's got the complete series with uh, two movies and bonus content. And here is the Ren and Stimpy show, first and second seasons uncut. Over here, which, you know, I, I should put these up there, but I have no room. James Bond Collection, so all James Bond films on Blu-ray. And we got the new one, No Time to Die. I thought it was a perfect ending for Daniel Craig. Here we got the fantasy, adventure, and family films, and a little section of comedy. But here we're going to jump into these. Adam's Family, two movie collection. Didn't like the new Adam's Family, the cartoon one. I just I wasn't interested at all. Arachnophobia. We got Back to the Future trilogy. Beetlejuice on 4K. E.T. Steelbook, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I'd like to pick up the new one, but uh, maybe sometime soon here, Godzilla, I, I guess it's a Godzilla Kong 3 movie collection, The Goonies on 4K, Grease, I, I don't care what people say, I love this movie, one of the best musicals ever, used to watch this one a lot with my mom and sister on VHS when I was a kid, Gremlins 1 and 2, how the Grinch Stole Christmas, Harry Potter 8 Film Collection, Hobbit Trilogy and Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Indiana Jones 4 Movie Collection, we got Jaws on 4K, this is the, I guess, Lenticular Special Edition, comes with a little book in there, Jurassic World 5 Movie Collection, Labyrinth with David Bowie, another amazing film. Life of Pi. The Mask. The Mummy Ultimate Collection. So it's got all, all three Mummy movies. Well, I think so. What the hell is in here? So all three Mummy movies and The Scorpion King. The Neverending Story. Kiwi's Big Adventure, another one I used to watch all the time as a kid. Still love it so much to this day. The Sandlot. We got the Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire collection. Still need to get the Andrew Garfield collection. 
This is the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. I'm sorry, Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom. Stand By Me. Teen Wolf. Willy Wonka on 4K. And Wizard of Oz Steelbook. I absolutely love the artwork for this. I mean, it is just gorgeous. And here are my comedy films. We got the Vacation 5 Film Collection. Love these. Accepted, another underrated movie. Justin Long is one of those actors where I could really watch anything with him in it. Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Dazed and Confused, another one I'd like to upgrade to the Criterion. Detroit Rock City, probably the best road trip movie ever made. Great soundtrack. If you like Dazed and Confused, check this one out. Dodgeball. The Great Outdoors, really fun family movie. Kung Fu Hustle, another highly underrated comedy. I remember when this came out, it said it's Looney Tunes by way of Quentin Tarantino. The violence is pretty kick-ass, and the comedy is so fucking funny. And we got one DVD here, The New Guy, which I remember renting this from Blockbuster quite a bit. I guess it's not really that great of a movie, but I love the soundtrack. It's got a lot of funky songs on it. And I guess I'd consider it a guilty pleasure of mine. I'd, I'd like to see a Blu-ray of this. Anyways, that is it for my Blu-ray and I guess 4K collection of non-horror films. Let me know if you have any recommendations or movies I should check out. Hope you liked the video. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.